So it's a couple weeks later, and I think I'll be able to finally finish my car issue with the heater coil that's just finally in, and then I ended up breaking this off. And what this is, see if you can see it, it's just a little tab. And you saw me break this thing off, which I'm sort of wiggling around right there, and it's sort of being held by JB Weld, even though it's really, really poor. I tried JB Welding this on, into place, and it still didn't work, so I'm gonna try something new. And what I'm gonna do is I have this glue, which is a Loctite 495 Instant Adhesive Super Bonder, and hopefully that's, that's gonna work, so this is what it looks like. All right, just a little tiny tube. And then I'm also going to be putting a nail through it with a ring nail through it. And hopefully that's gonna be holding it because I put a hole through the middle, just like that. And then I'm gonna be putting it, drilling a hole into the, um, the door itself, the, the one that's gonna actuate. And hopefully with the glue, with the nail and everything that, it's gonna hold. So now I gotta take apart the dash again, pull off the steering wheel, on the steering wheel, the steering column, and get back into that and hopefully clean up the JB Weld that has also been left in there. So now here comes the difficult part. I have to put this onto the shaft and then drill the hole through just so I can make sure that everything lines up and then take this out and then finish that drill. I'm really hoping I'm not gonna slip and break something else because I, I don't think I'm gonna handle $700 to replace this part. So now that the hole is drilled, I have to put this in here with a whole bunch of glue on it. Then I'm going to let that set for a little bit, hopefully it does, and then I'm going to actually push it into the hole that I just made into the actual door flap thing that I just put a hole into. Hopefully it'll hold because I thought that the shaft was going to be solid plastic and I didn't really feel much, get, like I felt a lot of give, I didn't feel much resistance of me actually drilling through anything. So I'm really hoping that this is going to work, but I'm kind of doubting it now just because there's no solid plastic shaft in there, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully this goes well. All right, well, here goes nothing. I'm just gonna put some glue on the shaft here and then just start pushing it in further and further. And hopefully that works. Oh man, here we go. That is difficult to get into. Like, that doesn't want to go in easily, which is good, because then it'll hopefully stay, but I really don't want to break it while I'm doing this. And oh my god, this glue is setting fast. There we go. Now that it's in, it is in. Awesome, that, that is cool. So now I'm just gonna, around the head here, I'm gonna put some glue, because why not? Just make this as sturdy as possible. Hopefully this thing won't be coming apart. That's ultimately my goal, is for this thing to stay in there for another 10 years or so. All right, let's give that a moment to cure, and then uh, I'm gonna go out to the vehicle. First, I'm gonna put some glue into the hole. And then put a couple drops along the nail. Right? And now to slide this in spot. That came off again. Kind of expected that to happen. But. It's a little bit off because the hole isn't quite straight, but I am fairly confident that this will actually work. Well, that seems to be in there fine after I took it out and it's kind of loose, but I'm gonna put some glue around the edge. Hopefully it'll also hold. Same time, 
I have to move this door just in case that it wants to just freeze and spot because I, I can't that cannot happen if that happens and it, it freezes the shaft in the actual hole that it's in I am so boned get some more glue up here work the door a bit more I think I can start putting it back together as long as occasionally I play with this door because it's already starting to get a little bit difficult. Now I have to clean this up slightly where I first put the JB Weld on to fix my first mistake and then use this special type of glue again and hopefully that'll make it stay. And then I can actually really button everything up. Oh man, there's not much room in here. Just a tiny bit of glue. Because this stuff seems to actually work pretty decently. This shouldn't take too long to cure. I'm hoping this is like a couple minutes. Or even that long. Holy crap. All right, that is now back together. Hopefully it stays that way. And hopefully I don't break anything else while trying to put the rest back on. Put this actuator back on along with this cover. But as I remember, this cover had an interesting way of going on. Ah, that's how it went on, just like that. Now this goes right over top, like so. Oh, hang on. There we go, like so. Now I can actually do up all of these nuts, or screws, rather. I'm not gonna do down these too tight, because I really don't want to crack any other kind of plastic. I may have actually gotten away with like a $10 fix versus a $100 or a $700 fix. And I'm really hoping to keep it that way. See if this thing still works. And it does. It seems to still work. So that's, that's freaking fantastic. Still fl uh, moves freely and it's all back together. So we can plug this back in for the actuator. And after that, I can actually start plugging in my dash, like taking out the trouble light and putting everything back together. This is exciting, I might actually have heat now. It's getting cold. So it's back together almost. I just have to put the dash on and hopefully it'll work. I'm really hoping because that piece that I put on is slightly crooked. So you got like the shaft and you got this piece and it's slightly crooked like that. So when it gets pushed, it kind of does that. And it's not very good for it, but I'm hoping it'll stay nonetheless because it was, there's just not enough room in there to actually properly do it, at least for a guy my size. Maybe for a twig. Only thing left to do now is to plug in the four things that I unplugged from the very first time that I started this job. And then that's, that's, that is actually supposed to actuate everything in there. And that's, that's what I'm hoping for. Whether it'll happen or not, I don't know yet. <laughs> and that's now it. I just have to put on the trim, start the car, warm it up, and see if it actually worked. Fingers crossed. Apparently these things are actually si side specific. Didn't know that. These are not the easiest things to put back. <laughs> Whenever doing something like this, it's always a good idea to undo the battery first, just because the dome light's gonna be on and you don't want your battery to go flat. Also, while you're under the hood, you may as well check all your fluids as well. All right, it is now for the real test of, I fixed my own vehicle, will it now explode? All the guards, the actuator, everything is back in, battery's back and hooked up, all the trim is on. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed that I don't die. Okay, well that, that part's good. So my car's been running for about 10, 15 minutes and I'm gonna try the heat. It says it's all nice and warm and toasty. Let's give it a go. Hope it'll do something. Oh, what is this? I have heat. Oh, sweet zombie Jesus, I got heat. That's exciting, more than you'd ever know. 
I don't have a lot of heat right now because typically this vehicle says it's hot, but it's really not. So I'm going to drive this a bit and hopefully I'm still going to get a good amount of heat out of the vents. So I drove for a bit, getting good heat. Now I've stopped for fuel and I'm going to try and change it to cold air because the door bit that I changed, what it was actually for was the mixing door for hot and cold. So I'm still really hoping that this is going to be cold. Oh, it is. It's cold. Hang on, does my AC properly work and everything? Oh my god, it does. I think I actually fixed it. This is a victory! I mean, yeah, I had a lot of trouble in this in the beginning, but it is finished now. It is all back together. I don't have to worry about it. Hopefully, it's not going to fall apart, but that glue was amazingly good stuff. I don't even know what the hell it was anymore, but damn, that glue was good. Put the nail in. It was slightly crooked, but it's working. That's the important part. I am very happy. I call this a win. It didn't explode. I used up all the parts. Nothing left over. I'm actually having a good day. All right. I will see everyone in the next video. I, I actually started on my dad's shed as well to rebuild his pump house, and that is pretty much done as well. I was going to make a video on that. I still might just for the rest of it, but thank you all so much for watching. If you like this, please let me know. Always have a great day. Thank you for liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Give me a five. Make him dance. Da 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 da. I didn't explode! Didn't explode!